A sweeping statewide order to stay at home for the entire state of California goes into effect at midnight. Governor Newsom made the profound announcement this evening. Thanks for joining us for the nightly check in. I'm Mark Mullen. The order goes into effect at midnight, as mentioned, for all of California, more than 39 million residents. It is a difficult moment that may fill Californians with some anxiety, but Governor Newsom assured the public that order will help flatten the curve to stop the spread of the coronavirus. The governor is saying that we will be able to leave home for essential things, but the idea is to shelter in place. He says more detailed information will be coming out tonight and in the coming days with what Californians can and cannot do. The governor said he expects some grocery stores and food banks to always be open. He says you can also go outside for walks. Uh, but continue social distancing. You are not supposed to leave your home for non-essentials. We will be following all of the developments following this order. As we learn them, we will pass them on to you. Parents obviously feeling the stress of finding child care already, especially with school closures lasting longer. But there soon could be a call to action. The California Department of Education says it does not want to pop up daycare, but the longer schools remain closed, the more daycare will be needed. The department recognizes this is an ongoing issue and says there could be a possible call to action. There may be a point where we have to call on more schools who have classrooms or have staff that could help in this area to be a part of the solution rather than just saying, oh, if you didn't have this in place, you're off the hook kind of thing. County officials put out a mandate for only 10 children in a room during daycare, and it has to be the same 10 children day after day. Meanwhile, the YMCA has been helping parents find daycare centers and verified homes to take their children that accommodate space for fewer than 10 children in a room. You can log on to our website, NBC7.com, to find out how to get those referrals. Meanwhile, we have learned about a new cluster of people who tested positive for COVID-19 in San Diego County. There were four people in that group, and it is travel related. The number of positive coronavirus cases in San Diego now stands at 105. In California, the number of cases has surpassed 900. The U.S. has more than 13,000 cases. Despite what federal officials are saying about millions of new test kits for COVID-19, officials in San Diego still say there aren't enough here. The bulk of testing across the country is being handled by public health laboratories. California has 22 public labs running test samples for coronavirus, including our local lab. But if you want a test done, there is not a public list available. And just because you want a test, we are told it doesn't mean that you will actually get one. We do not have the testing capacity to test every uh, single individual who has symptoms. Uh, we do not have the testing capacity at this time to test every individual uh, who would like to have a test. The county advises that if you develop symptoms, again, that's fever, cough, or shortness of breath, call your provider. You can find the number for the four largest providers in our county online at 211sandiego.org. Just click on the coronavirus information page. Well, at a time when people are losing jobs in the hospitality industry, a North County bar owner is making it her mission to provide her employees with paychecks. Rookie Sports Bar in Oceanside is only accepting to-go orders following the county guidelines, but those to-go orders mean everything to the employee. The owner, Kristen Cates, is donating 100% of her to-go sales right to her workers. It's really heartwarming and really touching. Just many, many, many thanks to her and just being that thoughtful, kind person that we all knew she already was. They're the ones that do all of this and keep my doors open. Um, so I owe it to them is how I really feel. It's really not a question to me. How great is that? Rookie Sports Bar has about 40 staff members. So are we in the clear from the rain? Here is Dagmar with our next chance of showers. Yes, he said our next chance for rain. We will have one, two, three days of partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But that next round that moves in early next week through at least the middle to the latter portion of next work week. So showers on the way for the coast and the inland valleys, but not before you get to enjoy yourselves Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The warmest day will be Sunday, but the sunniest day will be Saturday. Following right along, you have the mountains and the deserts. You also have some mostly sunny skies for Saturday. Clouding over for Sunday. Temperatures continuing to warm for that day, but it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday that you have not just a chance for showers mixed in there, but also another round of mountain snow. 
That's going to do it for our nightly check-in. For our podcast listeners, our Investigates team released a new episode of Insight today in which they discuss the region's new normal of self-quarantine. It is available on all podcast streaming platforms. A lot of news to cover. Join us online, NBC7.com or on the NBC7 app. And, of course, on the news tonight at 11 o'clock. Have a good night.